Uh, so hello everyone in this particular video we are going to discuss the key differences between BJT and JFET. So as you can see over here that I had written uh, BJT is known as bipolar and JFET is known as unipolar. So I will uh, so we will try to uh, you know, discuss the uh, we will try to get the meaning of these two words okay and uh, I think I had uh, uh, explained this uh, the meaning of bipolar earlier but still those who are new uh, I will explain them again uh, so uh, as you can see here this is an internal structure uh, this is an internal structure of PJT and this is an internal structure of JFET okay so we will try to you know uh, just see how it will uh, work and why it is termed as bipolar up till now we had learned uh, almost seven uh, we had covered 70 percent of part of bjt and based upon that we know that this is uh, ic and this is ie okay and from here it is base current okay which is the input current now our output is ie we know that ie is equals to ic plus ib okay and as we can see over here see in this particular region as we can see over here that this is made up of holes okay or we can also term it as a uh, region made up of or sorry not made up of a uh, region doped with less electrons okay so we can term this uh, region uh, as regions doped with less electrons or holes okay and this particular regions okay uh, these two regions as you can see over here this one and this one okay these are they both are highly doped this these both regions okay they both are highly doped with electrons okay uh, and as we saw here that ib is basically made up of holes okay and ic is made up of uh, electrons okay and as i had mentioned in my earlier course that uh, in bjt and in npn uh, this is an npn transistor i just forgot to tell you uh, this is an npn transistor uh, so in npn transistor holes are the minority carriers okay holes are the minority carriers while electrons are majority carriers okay and the output current is the sum of both majority and minority therefore we uh, term bjt as bipolar junction transistor or we call bjt as bipolar okay due to these reasons we call bjt as bipolar okay now we'll just look upon the internal structure of jfet okay now in jfet we uh, we saw that uh, when we were uh, uh, you know uh, just moving this VGS the knob of VGS the output current was changing okay and as you can see here there is no uh, like uh, P junction okay this is P junction of JFET we are considering uh, N channel JFET and this is P region of JFET okay and this whole this whole thing that is this is n channel of jfet okay uh, while explaining to you i told that the output current id is only because of electrons okay which are traveling from source to drain okay which are traveling from source to drain and there is uh, no such involvement of uh, the holes okay which are present in this p region there is no such involvement of holes 
uh, in this output current that is id so our output current is only because of electrons which moves from source to drain okay uh, and there is no involvement there is no involvement of holes okay therefore we termed jeffet as unipolar 